Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Farah Binti Rosni. I'm a general manager. This is my group member consists of Nur Fahira Atika as marketing manager, operation manager Nur Ain Shuhada, admin manager Nur Fitriana and Nur Maisara as financial manager. In this video, I will present about company background, vision and mission of Happiness Gift Box. Without further ado, let's get started. As you guys can see, this is our company logo. Our company's name came from the old Norse word for luck or chance. As a result, we decided to utilize that name as the name of our organization. Happiness is a possible name as a consequence of all partners' agreement. Our goal in choosing this name is to amaze people in such a simple way that they will immediately recognize that our company designed gift box of happiness. Happiness gift box is located at K0201 Jalan Jambu, Kota Masai, Eco Vantage 81700 Pasir Gudang, Johor. Happiness Gift Box is a partnership firm with five members that was formed on January 2, 2024. The Gift Box company specialized in custom-made gift box of birthday. In terms of beginning money, Happiness Gift Box intends to launch the firm with a total of 72,949 in initial capital with a contribution of 14,000 from each business partner while general manager, which is me, contribute 60,949 and no loan included. Our vision for Happiness Gift Board is to be the top leader of any decoration services in Malaysia where we promise excellent services and a strong dedication to our customer. Meanwhile, our mission is to create beautifully designed gift box that will thrill and inspire. Also, to provide excellent customer service, support local artists and company, encourage environmentally friendly and ethical practices, and also to offer happiness and create lasting memories for our customer and their loved one with our gift box. Lastly, our objective are to help people who would like to surprise their loved ones, provide the greatest service to our consumer and make absolutely sure customers item are packaged in a safe and fascinating manner. Hi, my name is Nuru Fitriana and I will continue the presentation about administration plan. So this is our organizational chart. Farah Ashikin is our general manager, Nur Fahira Atika is marketing manager, Ain Shuhada is operation manager and under operation manager we have assistant operation, me, myself, Nuru Fitriana is admin manager and the last one is Siti Maisara, financial manager. Next, I will explain the tasks and responsibilities of each manager. So the first one is general manager. General manager develops and implements the organization's overall strategic direction and long-term goals. Next, they will delegate the responsibilities to the best qualified employees and enforce all policies, procedures, standards, uh, specification, guidelines, training programs, and cultural values. Next is marketing manager. The main task of this role is to promote businesses, services, products, or brands. They also collaborate with the leadership team to develop overall marketing strategy, including target markets, positioning, and marketing goals. And for the operation manager, the task of an operation manager typically involves overseeing the day-to-day -day operation of a company to ensure efficiency, productivity, and profitability. They are also developing operation strategies and plans to meet the organization's goals and objectives. The task for admin manager is to supervise the operation of administrative department and staff members. They are also hiring, training, and assessing personnel as well as taking corrective action if needed. For financial manager, they monitor the account, preparing activity report, and financial forecast. They also increase profitability and examine the market for business opportunities. And the last one is assistant operation. The main task of an assistant operation typically involves providing support to the operation manager and assisting in the efficient management of operational activities within an organization. They also assist in maintaining quality standards by monitoring and ensuring adherence to established procedures and specifications. This is administration budget. As we can see, the fixed asset that we have is office furniture and office equipment. So the total of fixed asset is 13,969 ringgit. For monthly expenses, we only spend on salary and office supplies and the total is 8,848 ringgit 60 cents. And the last one is for other expenses. We spend on deposit for the shop, business registration, and license and permit. So the total is 4,010 ringgit. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you, Fitriana. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Aishwara Adam Fizana Bidin and I am responsible as an operational manager for this task. Our business hours is 9 hours but active time is only 8 hours per day. We start the business from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and we also operate the business 6 days per week from Sunday until Friday. The first production of decorating our happiness gift box is first pick the box to decorate. Then, we continue to take the items to put from the accessory room. We will prepare the sweet and candies to be added into the box. Shredded paper will be placed into the box before putting the sweet and candies. 
the box then will be wrapping paper and a ribbon. Which is cut, uh, also will be attached on top of the gift box. Furthermore, the complete finished gift box will be placed at the shop. For mine, that we produce is 4,375 box. How we manage to get this amount is we take the average sale forecast per month, which is 153,125 ringgit divided by price per product, 35 ringgit. So, 4,375 boxes per month divided with working day per month is 24 days, and we get the number of box per day, which is 800, uh, 182 box. The standard time is 3 minutes per box and the number of worker required is only one worker. Of material that we use to produce a unit of happiness gift box is gift box, gift wrapping paper, gift card, magic pad, shredded paper, colorful ribbon, foam balls, and sweet and candies. The cost per month is different every month since the quantity for the material per month is different. The material used in happiness gift box services business might vary based on the individual needs and size of the organization. The list of equipment that used by the operational manager is cash register level, thermal printer, receipt thermal printer, refrigerator, and code scanner. These equipment are really important to make sure the production can produce the product smoothly. Last, for operational part, I attach the operational budget. The total for fixed asset, which is the equipment in operational, is only 457 ringgit. Furthermore, the total of monthly expenses, including electricity, water, telephone, rental, internet, and raw material for operational, is 485,955 ringgit. Thank you so much. I will pass to marketing manager. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Fahira Tika Binti Ali. Now, I will explain the opportunity and target market of our business. Gift box are popular items these days. As we can see, there are a variety of sellers that produce gift box in a range of form. In any event, the development of the gift box business by us will be significant in the future. Customers can request their own design for gift box purchases, allowing them to share their joy with their loved ones without feeling upset or dissatisfied. The target market for our happiness gift box is focused on two segments which geographical and demographical. Let us begin with geographical segmentations. Our business is located on Jalan Jambu in Kota Masai Eco Vintage in Pasir Gudang, Johor. Given the huge number of coffee and cafes in the area around us, this geographic segmentation allows customers to find our gift store more easily. As a result, our business is quite common in location where there is no other gift shop. Next is demographic segmentation. We are targeting a customer whose age range from 18 to 50 years old and who has stable job and income. Our product is not gender specific, therefore both men and women may use it. Next is competitors. Happiness Gift Box have three competitors around Johor Bahru. Every age of the competitors have their strengths and weaknesses. We take it as to improve our Happiness Gift Box businesses. Next is market size. Our market size calculated based on the total populations of Spasi Gudang citizens. This video continues with the sales forecast. Our Happiness Gift Box have increased from year 1 to year 3. Next is marketing strategy. Happiness Gift Box marketing strategy uses 4P which is product, pricing, place and promotions. Happiness Gift Box will be selling birthday gift box to the customers who wants to customize based on their preference and needs for their loved one. For pricing, our Happiness Gift Box costs 35 ringgit each per box. The price encourages businesses to set pricing that maximize profit while taking consumer and business demand into account. Next is space. The space of the building is 1,540 square feet. The structure is a two-story shop lot, but we will only rent the second level. The rental costs us 800. Promotion strategy is the last one. We are promoting our service in the advertising. The service will be promoted on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Next is personal selling is extremely important for making a good impression on customers because our service is to satisfy them. Next is marketing budget of Happiness Gift Box. It consists of fixed asset of a signboard, working capital of marketing manager salary, and other expenses which is business card. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am the financial manager for Happiness Gift Box and my name is Siti Mesra Binti Shah Sukaman. I will continue to explain about our Happiness Gift Box financial part. The first thing is the total budget for administrative, marketing and operation. You can see who's got the highest and the lowest amount. Next, we go to the income statement for our company from 3 years which are from 2024 and 2026. Gross profit is a key indicator of a company's profitability before considering operating expenses. The gross profit on 2024 is 1354565. The next year, you can see at the slide behind. However, there is no charge on the tax does. The total for the next profit after tax is still the same. Then we calculate the accumulated profit to know the performance for our company to assess how effectively uh, a business has generated profits over time and indicates its overall profitability. Next part is the cash flow per event. The ending cash balance is an important metric for assessing our company's liquidity and financial health. And fortunately, we got a positive ending cash balance that indicates the happiness gift box has more cash inflows than outflows. Lastly, I will go to the part of project milestone where we start the incorporation of the venture on 2nd January, same date where we do the business registration. Then on 31st March, we completed the company's design and development, also the prototype for the business. 
Prototype serve, uh, serve as evidence that a business idea or concept is viable and can be turned into a tangible product or service. On 20th uh, of May 2023, we started hiring and acquiring an individual or a team of professionals whose primary responsibility is to promote and sell happiness gift box services to potential customers. Then on 5th June 2023, we go to the process of establishing formal agreements or contracts with independent businesses or individuals to distribute a, and sell a company's products or services and continue to start ordering material in production quantities on 8 August 2023. After all projects have done, we're starting to operate the production by 2nd January 2024 and fortunately we got the first order and delivered the products to customer on the first day operation. In conclusion, to obtain high quality materials for our gift box, we have formed strategic connection with local craftsmen, small company and luxury brands. This strategy not only assures the distinctiveness and quality of our services, but it also helps local economy and develop a feeling of community. Our gift box service business plan displays a compelling value offer, a strong grasp of the target market and a smart approach to operation and marketing. We are well positioned to develop a profitable and sustainable business in the gift box sector by capitalizing on the rising demand for our gift box. I think that's all from us. Thank you.